Android has been teasing us with its Nougat update for quite a while now with developers preview and such. But it is only recently that Android Nougat has been propagated to more devices since each manufacturer has to cater its UI to the new update. Anyway, although you might not see the changes since some of it are pretty subtle, there have been quite a few updates that might prove to make your experience a whole lot better. Generally, there isn't any obvious change to the look and design. It is the functionality of the OS that has improved or more like Android has sort of stabilised its features instead of playing trial and error. Now, what I like most is when you long press certain icons. Well, most apps native to Google such as Google Play, Chrome, Drive and your basic general apps like Messenger, Contacts and Camera has a pop-up menu of common in-app functions easily accessible whenever you long press its icons. Now, this is pretty convenient since you don't have to open each app and tap more than once just to maybe add a new contact. However, what annoys me the most is that this convenient function is only available if you're using vanilla Android Nougat. So if your device has a heavy UI over it, most likely you won't be able to enjoy it. Samsung users have enjoyed split-screen view for quite some time now, but with Android Nougat, other users are able to enjoy it as well unless your device has some funky UI that doesn't allow you to, but then you can always download the Nexus or Nougat launcher instead. Anyway, to activate the split screen is easy. Just long press the recent apps button, select the first screen, then select the second screen. They will usually be in a 50-50 size ratio unless the app developers specify otherwise. You can use this in portrait or landscape mode and to remove the top screen, just slide this bar upwards and to change the bottom screen, just tap on the recent apps button again. Now another favourite feature is the quick app swap that although convenient needs a little getting used to, especially if you're one of those who tend to pile up your background apps. Now just tap the recent app button to swap between the last two used apps. Now the coolest thing about these two features is that you can actually triple task. Now tap on the recent apps button, select your app, then hold down the recent app button again to select another app. Then if you continue tapping the recent apps button, you can swap between the next two most recently used apps. Cool, huh? Now, notifications have also been collated, which means if you have emails coming in, its notifications are all in one group, so you won't have to scroll through your notification drop-down menu. Now, there is also a quick reply function straight from the notifications bar, where you can reply your emails and messages immediately instead of opening it up on the app itself. The quick settings can also be customised. You can decide which five important shortcuts you want to have immediate access to and to expand that list, all you need to do is just tap this arrow button. There are many more updates to Android N, like security features and such, and so far we have no complaints. However, if you can master these few, multitasking will be much easier and things get done at an efficient pace.